comparing last Baltimore Colts owner Robert Ursay with current Baltimore Ravens owner Stephen Bishotti. Yeah, I'm. Roll, Carm, roll if you're not rolling. You can hear me. As soon as this is over, come to me, guys. Come to us as soon as you can, if you can hear me back there, gentlemen. Gentlemen, if you can come to Guys, come to us, if you can. Last time I talked to you and Stedman, you were a bad man, so I don't want to talk to you. Well, let me, let me, let me come to us, guys. Okay. What is, what, what, yo, let me ask one thing. What is all this about? The last time you courted uh, Jackson. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Anybody no, let else? Me, let me, let me, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me put it in perspective. Go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Go ahead, Dan. Why you on the, on the, the uh, oh, 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 give me a, give me a break. Let the mayor have a chance, <laughs> would you? Thank you. In the newspaper, in the newspaper today, there was a story that said uh, Robert Ursay was in Arizona and that the okay, Baltimore right, Colts were right now, Jerry, moved. yeah. Mr. Mayor and uh, Mr. Ursay are at the podium. Let's go right that. to them. I am. I told uh, everyone that you told me if you were going to move the team, ever going to move the team, you'd tell me first what they're all here right, for. Let me. Here let, for. All right, we'll get this over real fast. <laughs> I haven't been in Arizona. I haven't been in Arizona. I've been in uh, three, four places where I got uh, working machines going of my own companies. I haven't been in Phoenix. I give you my word of honor. I'm a good, good Catholic. I haven't been in Arizona. Where the hell does this all come from? Why Who started go, this? The governor's aide. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. The governor's aide had mentioned that last night to uh, the media, and that's where I want to give from. you my word of honor. I have not been in Arizona uh, for the last did couple you, of days. Did you have a meeting planned today with the governor? I didn't have a, any meetings planned. I don't know where all this comes from. Don Schaefer's my friend. You say the Arizona governor's I don't want to talk to you. Are you staying there, sir? Are you, are you is, there any, is there any thought about moving the Baltimore Colts to Arizona? I don't know where it all comes from. Now, somebody started this. I don't know who did it, all right? Uh, <laughs> we are negotiating, and I will do this with Don Schaefer today, uh, closer to a lease here. Now, why would I want to go to Arizona? Did okay? Mr. Nikolai come to you? Mr. Nikolai is a friend of mine. Has He's he a friend of Frank Cush's. Now, you just put this in your bag. He's a friend of Frank Cush's, not mine. Did he offer you? I a don't. He offered me whatever I want money. I have not any intention to move the goddamn team. If I did, I will tell you about it. Okay? So stay here. I said, if I have any intention of moving the team, I will tell you about it. Okay. Now, I flew in uh, 6,000 miles almost to come over here just to, for him. For him. Where are you coming from? I came from Vegas, San Francisco, and you could check the FAA, call the tower. We had word I that Nikolai from. said he had a deal with you. Is that not true? Pardon me? We had word that Mr. Nikolai said he had a deal with you. Let me tell you about Mr. Nikolai. He's a friend of Frank Cush's, okay? Yeah, this is, you know, this is so jerky, so silly, that I, I don't even, I, I don't I want to even answer your question. So it's not true, Mr. Nikolai does not have a deal with you. Just putting that to what bed. What kind of deal? 49% or 51%? I want to talk to you. Sir, yeah. Um, Mr. Nikolai is quoted as saying today that he had a deal with you, but that the deal fell through because it could not be decided who would be the majority owner. A okay. verbal deal of 51%. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards, okay? Uh, the Northern Trust has $25 million of my money. Sam Lizzo and Charles Sweet, who will join me at the Super Bowl, will verify this. Now, just think about this. Uh, the other LaSalle Bank for the Netherlands people, who are my friends, I'm trying to buy that bank, okay? Just mark all this down now. Uh, our friends of mine. I don't need the goddamn money. And I don't need the aggravation. Uh, I don't need this man to get upset. All right? Now, we have no deal with Mr. Tony. Uh, Tony is a friend. Anthony Nikolai is a friend of Frank Cush's. Not mine. 
I only saw him once. I, that's, I can't picture what all this is about. Was that in Where Chicago two weeks ago, sir? Governor, he, yeah, was a, he was my guest in Chicago two weeks ago. Well, that's what? supposedly when this deal was formulated, this 51%. There was no deal no formulated. Deal. Okay. Weren't you supposed to meet the governor of Arizona today? No. Absolutely not. Why did he say that? I don't want to talk to you. Well, answer it. Tell that? everybody else. Why I don't want to talk to why? you. So Any why, other questions? Why would he say that? Why would he say that? I don't call him. Sorry. Call the governor. Why don't you call Governor Hughes? I'm very strong about it. I have no problems with the mayor. I have a very fine lease. All right? I Let me tell you this. Will you, you sign this. the contract for the mayor now? Will you sign the contract with the stadium for the mayor? Let me tell you, I flew a couple thousand miles to be here tonight, and I don't need any aggravation. All right? And I only came because of him. Because of him. And I told you, I flew a lot of miles today. That's my plane out there. And that burned, <laughs> burned a lot of fuel. I come over to tell you, I don't know what the hell this is about. Only because Anthony Nikolai made a statement. Now, why don't you make a statement? Well, I think, uh, speaking on behalf of media, we, we love the Colts, and we want to make sure uh, on behalf of everyone who lives here that it stays here. If you love the Colts, why don't you treat me right? I'm going to send you some uh, articles. This man here, number one, and Stedman, a couple others, hang me all the time. What do you hang me for? That's a reporter for a local paper that you're referring to. Now I'm reporting to read the papers. What do you hang me for? Okay. You want me here? Why do you hang me? What do you hang me for? How close are you to signing a lease, Uh, I'll be here. Okay. All right. Jerry, just the, recap. The governor just asked, asked the, the question of how close he was to signing a lease, and apparently uh, he says he'll be here. Well, we'll follow that story. That's the story here from uh, from BWI. Back to you in the studio now, Jerry. Basically, you're you're involved, but you're you're letting others do their job. Oh yeah, yeah. I I've never ever overruled anybody. I no. It's just I might I might be a little forward and say to John, take a look at this. Take a look at this Isaiah Likely. You know, he doesn't, he, he looks like he's a little different. And I love productive people, even if it's smaller schools. Um, I might turn John on to some people, but that's not my job to pick them. When I was running Aerotech, I was, I knew that business better than anybody. So I felt like I should be the leader, like I should be the one front and center. When I got this, I knew I would never catch up to the talents of the coach and the president and the GM. And so I, it really wasn't humility, it was intelligence. It was just like, I don't want to be front and center because there's always somebody in this organization that's smarter than me in every single category.